Hello and welcome. This is how to wind and operate a Rolex Daytona Cosmograph. Um, this is a reference 16523, which is powered by a Rolex Caliber 4030, 4030, which is based on the Zenith El Primero movement, which is an automatic chronograph movement. So you've got the crown, the two pushers, this one is star-stop chronograph, this one is a reset for the chronograph. Um, everything is screwed down, so crown pushers, you need to screw them open before you can actually use them. So first off, to set the time, you just unscrew the button, there we go. Then you can wind it manually if the power reserve is low. And then to set the time, you just push the crown, uh, you pull the crown, and then you set it to the desired time, whichever that may be. And then when you're done, push in the crown gently and screw it on again. Until it's snug, you don't need to do it like too snug, but it's just a then the chronographs, as you can see, you cannot push them like this. So you have to unscrew them. And you will feel when it's done all the way open. And then you can just, well, let's do this one first as well. Okay, so this is with the chronograph pushers both open. And then you can just use a chronograph. This is start stop. So you can see very swift action and then the reset button is at the bottom and that's it when you are done with the chronograph um, for water resistance purposes just screw it on again so the watch will be water resistant that being said um, do not assume your watch is water resistant unless it has been proven um, Ideally, it would have to be checked once every year or so, especially if you unscrew and screw on these things often. Hope you like it.